Well, we have covered a lot of job fairs over the years, but today we found an event that isn't your typical job fair. That is because the AARP did some matchmaking for older job seekers. Our Paula Tupman was there as some employees found they just made the perfect match. And she looks at what the over 50 crowd brings to the table. A lot of people probably think that when they come to a job fair, then they're just kind of coming here, they're dropping off resumes, and they're really not going to necessarily walk out with a job. That has not been the case here. These employers are looking for a very specific employee candidate. In this job fair, over the hill is not a phrase they're driving. The event at the Northwest Activity Center in Detroit today was geared towards older workers who are being coveted. It's promising tech, so I think it's really like a good opportunity. Organized by AARP, SEMCA, and Detroit Employment Solutions Corporation, this wasn't about chit-chat. This was about finding jobs for people who want them. The number one issue when you survey employers is finding talent. But if I'm a worker, an older worker, and I have, was an engineer, or I may have been a teacher, and I have a skill set, I am much more trainable right now in terms of getting back into that workplace. Teresa was laid off in January, and it didn't feel good having to go back out into the workforce and look for a job. I've been looking for companies that would like to hire someone. And to be honest with you, I think if you're over 50 or over 55, it's very difficult to find a job. And I, that's what I've been running into. But she walked into the job fair, sat down, handed her resume over, and within 10 minutes, her head started to spin. I am sending over Teresa Leary as well. Oh, it is very exciting, yes. I mean, to happen this quickly, absolutely. Tracy Sakula, Director of Safety and Recruiting of Express Transportation and Logistics in Romulus, was on a winning streak. She'd already offered three people jobs on the spot. I hired two drivers. One is in transit for a drug screen, and one is already drug screening as we speak. When she saw Teresa's resume, she knew of another company looking for people just like her. They're more educated, they're easier to deal with, um, they've been in the field a little longer, they know the industry. Within two hours, Teresa was walking into emergency restoration, a resume in her hand, hope in her heart, a sturdy handshake, and getting ready for a second promising interview of the day with owner John David. Okay, so does she have the right stuff? John David, one of the owners of Emergency Restoration is with me. How did Teresa do? Teresa did a very good job. I look forward to calling her. I have my brother look at the resume and look calling her next week for a second interview. You said she asked great questions, had good suggestions. She was ready for it. I think so. I think she did a good job. I'm looking forward to meeting her again next week. So she's coming back for another interview. And, and so listen, you talk about results. We're talking about an unemployment rate of 3.9%. You can see the sign back here. It says uh, now hiring. People are looking for workers and they're looking for workers with experience. Teresa, I hope you're watching. Congratulations. You get a call back. I would say those are great results for that particular job fair. Oh, Paula, I so agree. And finding out you get that second interview on live TV, oh, that's even better. Right? I like it. When does it. that happen? Oh, I wish her <laughs> luck. Thank you so much, Paula. We appreciate it. Well, still